So, this conference uh, are, will now be recorded. We are going to start this session. Uh, today, our resource person is Dr. Krishna Murari, sir. Uh, he is from, he is associate professor and head department of management, Sikkim University. That is the central university, Sikkim. And he has uh, 16 years of experience in teaching. Uh, he has a number of uh, research papers, uh, at least uh, more than 35 research papers in his credit. Uh, he has done a lot of uh, work in statistical tools, uh, such as data analysis using statistical software, Minitab, SciStat, eViews, SPSS, AMOs, and others. He had authored three textbooks and completed at least three uh, projects uh, and he has uh, <clears throat> uh, at least five research scholars uh, guided five research scholars for the phd and two had been awarded and uh, three are pursuing phd under his guidance so i request uh, murari sir to deliver his lecture and even he has uh, a number of uh, administrative roles in Sikkim University, such as a chairperson of Board of Studies, Department of Management, chairperson of Department Research Council, member of IQSC, Academic Council, School Board of Professional Studies, Placement Cells, Selection Committee, and so on. Mm -hmm. So I request Murari sir to uh, continue his lecture. And hmm. I request the participant to mute their uh, microphone so that there should be no disturbance in between. Thank you, sir, for joining us. And please continue. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, first of all, uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate uh, the principal of Netaji Subhash Chandra PG College, uh, Professor Dr. Anuradha Tiwari. Uh, course director Dr. Poonam Verma and head department of economics, convener Dr. Vinita Lal head department of sociology, and uh, Dr. Arvind Yadav who is department of head department of psychology, organizing secretary Dr. Raghavendra Pratap Narayan head department of botany, and organizing secretary Dr. Kranti Singh department of commerce. So I would like to congratulate you all and uh, once again, thank you very much for organizing such a wonderful uh, program uh, on research methodology, seven days uh, workshop or the program on research methodology. It is really nice thought that uh, principal and the organizing secretary and the organizing team, uh, they have believed that even the learning can be possible during this corona lockdown period also so i must congratulate you all and uh, i will take it forward the lecture which has been the duty and the responsibility which has been assigned to me and today's topic is uh, the correlation analysis which i am going to deliver so my session uh, would be based upon two sections basically uh, first of all, I will share the conceptual understanding about the correlation analysis. Then I will show how to perform the correlation analysis using SPSS. So first of all, let us understand that what correlation analysis is. Basically, the correlation analysis is uh, very important part of any research but it is given least importance correlation analysis use is uh, is the basic foundation of majority of the analysis which we perform in uh, the data analysis and that is why it is important to understand the concepts of the correlation analysis when to use why to use and how to use 
is important so going by uh, i will be my focus will be on uh, giving you uh, the conceptual understanding about the correlation analysis and then i will perform the correlation analysis using spss uh, with the data set which is taken from spss uh, inbuilt database only so let us start with understanding that what is correlation you see the correlation basically uh, gives you the strength and the direction of association or relationship between any two variables this is the basic understanding which you should keep in mind that we want to explore the relationship between any two variables now these variables can be ordinal nominal as well as uh, the scale variable i hope that you must have been taught or uh, you must have learned about the measurement scales of the variable so uh, there are three basically uh, most popular measures of uh, variables nominal scale ordinal scale and interval or ratio scale which is also known as numerical scale <coughs> and this interval and ratio scale is categorized as uh, it is termed as scale variable in spss however it is a numerical scale also known as quantitative scale so we uh, explore the relationship between these two variables but here is a caution which you all should keep in mind that the relationship between the two variables should make a sense then only we can interpret this relationship you know when i say that it should make sense it simply means that two variables will definitely be statistically correlated but if they do not make sense your correlation reporting your statistical correlation will be you know of no use for example as i say uh, the two variables are number of birth for uh, during a particular period and then also i take a second variable say for example uh, number of um, number of quantity you know the quantity of uh, the eggs exported by country so the number of birth birth of uh, children and number of eggs exported to uh, other countries these two variables will be statistically correlated but does it make sense to find out any exploration or relationship between the number of birth and the number of eggs exported it doesn't make any sense so that is why it has to be uh, it has to be you know uh, we need to uh, make sure that whether the variables which we are taking to find out the correlation does it really make sense that is what important is In, that uh, that is why we use the concept of correlation for making sense and how can we make sense between uh, fi to find out the correlation between two variables normally the rule is like see we generally do not explore any cause and effect relationship between two variables but we generally see that whether one variable causes any impact on other variable if it does then exploring the correlation between those two variables makes sense so this is very important point to note that the variables should be used to explore the relationship only when they the relationship between those two variables makes sense another example i can give you is uh, like if you want to explore uh, the relationship between sales of any product over a period of time and also the advertisement expenses so the relationship between these two variables makes sense because as we increase the advertisement expenses the sales is expected to rise so what is causing the impact it is the advertisement which is causing an impact on sales 
so exploring the relationship between these two makes sense so i hope you understand the concept like what makes sense while exploring the correlation and while exploring as i said while exploring the correlation you should not always explore the causation you know this correlation does not imply the causation you know we use the causation only when we explore the relationship as well as we want to regress there i think uh, there will be another resource person who will be talking about the regression analysis simple regression analysis or multiple uh, regression analysis they will talk more about on the causation so the correlation analysis simply does not imply the causation causation means cause and effect but while exploring while making sense you always try to find out uh, the variables which are actually related with cause and effect all right so uh, this makes a simple understanding that we want to explore the relationship only when there is a uh, cause and effect a relationship but while stat while exploring the relationship statistically we do not talk about the causation that what impacts what if this type of question is not uh, answered by correlation it simply tells that these two variables are correlated they may be highly correlated or may be poorly correlated it is simply um, th this answer is given by the correlation and correlation is symmetric so what do we mean by this uh, correlation is symmetric or the relationship is symmetric suppose there are two variables uh, one is uh, sales another is advertisement expenses so if you are trying to find out the relationship between the sales and advertisement expenses so the relationship would will, will be same as the relationship between sales and advertisement expenses and the relationship between advertisement expenses and sales so both ways like it is not like direction there is no, no uh, kind of uh, direction like sales and uh, uh, advertisement expenses they are unidirectional no the, the same relationship holds good if you take the direction or if you take the variables vice versa that is why this relationship is known as symmetric and as i said that this relationship exploring the relationship is a basis for linear regression analysis wherein we want to find out what impacts on what so advertisement expenses impacts on sales so this type of if there is no relationship between sales and advertisement expenses we cannot go for the linear regression analysis which tries to find out actually the significant impact of independent variable on the dependent variable so another as i said another resource person will be talking more about on regression analysis i will not go into detail that how this uh, regression uh, independent variable can cause impact on the dependent variable so in statistical terms uh, this correlation coefficient actually ranges between uh, minus 1 to plus 1 so the correlation can be negative as well as positive if it is close to minus 1 we say that correlation is perfectly negative and if it is close to positive 1 we say that correlation is perfectly positive now what do we mean by perfectly positive correlation and perfectly negative correlation when we say that correlation is perfectly negative or perfectly positive it simply means that if one variable increases then other variable will also increase this is the meaning of positive perfectly positive correlation so if one in, uh, one variable increases by one unit then other variable is also supposed to increase by one unit that is what the perfect positive correlation is and perfect negative correlation means that one variable increases by one unit then the other variable or second variable will decrease by one unit so if you say that um, there is a perfectly negative correlation it simply means that one variable is rising up and the other variable is going down 
so that is how we interpret the statistical correlation coefficient so the value can be between minus 1 to plus 1 it can be 0 0.5 0.5 it can be negative 0 0.5 it can be 0 0.6 7 or so on number of values and accordingly we interpret the results uh, as whether uh, the correlation is positive or negative and also the strength what is the strength of the correlation whether it is strong medium moderate kind of a correlation or poor correlation so normally the values uh, between 0.3 or less you know minus uh, minus 0 0.3 or plus plus minus 0 0.3 or less or more uh, less values they are treated as uh, poor correlation and the values between plus minus 0 0.3 to uh, plus minus 0 0.6 they are called as they are known as a moderate correlation coefficient and mo values more than 0 0.6 we treat it as uh, a high degree of correlation between two variables another important measure uh, which correlation derives is the r square you know simply the squared value of the correlation coefficient and this is uh, the squared value is a result of uh, the regression analysis which shows the percentage of the variation in one variable explained by it for another variable so if you take for example sales and uh, advertisement example so how much percentage of variation in sales is explained by advertisement that is given by r square so r square is also important uh, concept to understand in relation with the correlation all right so uh, because this when you interpret the correlation at the same time the squared value of correlation is also interpreted which tells you about the percentage of variation uh, which is common or which is explained by uh, the independent variable in regression analysis for the dependent variable now we generally use uh, scatter plots to find out the relationship and scatter plot is uh, the primary you know analysis to find out the association between two variables so there are different uh, number of chart patterns which you can see uh, for different degree and variety of correlation uh, the first chart you know this first chart shows you the perfectly negative correlation as you can see all the values on x axis if they are increasing the values on y axis that is the second variable they are dec declining with the same rate so this is what is known as the perfectly negative correlation another is uh, you can see this is the degree of uh, negative correlation minus 0 0.94 you can see the observation pattern the values are little scattered when the uh, correlation coefficient is positive 0 0.08 the correlation is this much all right the observation pattern will be this much and when the correlation sorry uh, when the correlation is perfectly positive means perfectly positively correlated the values are perfectly positively correlated then the observation would be this straight line and all observations will be um, on this on this line of fit you know best line of fit fine so when the values of x variable are increasing the values of y will also increase with the same magnitude so then the correlation coefficient would be perfectly plus one or perfectly positively correlated correlation we can say 0 0.86 where values will be little scattered and when there is no correlation as you can see now this is this diagram as you look at this diagram when the values are not correlated at all then the coefficient of correlation will be zero and this will be the pattern you know this type of pattern can be explored so a scatter plot actually gives an initial idea for exploring the relationship between two variables third is like how to interpret the correlation coefficient as i said when r is equal to 0 
there is no correlation when r is equal to plus 1 there is a perfect positive linear relationship yeah one thing i would like to mention here that you know why we try to explore only the linear relationship in correlation uh, you should make a note of it that only linear relationship is examined while making a correlation analysis okay and linear linear relationship simply means uh, that when one variable is increasing a proportionate increase is seen in the another variable then the relationship is linear or it can be it can be said like uh, when uh, the observations can be fitted on a straight line basis then the relationship will be linear relationship and when there is a, when the coefficient of correlation r is in the minus 1 there is a perfect negative linear relationship between x and y means two variables and when the value is between 0 and 1 in absolute terms whether whether it can be negative or in positive it reflects actually the relative strength of the linear relationship between the two variables so when we say that there is a absolute uh, uh, you know positive correlation or negative correlation it also tells us the direction when the relationship is negative it gives you negative direction of the correlation meaning thereby that increase in one value will will lead to a decrease in the second value or when one value the values in one variable are increasing the other values will decline so that is the uh, negative correlation and positive correlation simply when the values of one variable are increasing the values of other variable will also are increase uh, they are also increasing positively so that is positive correlation now there is a bivariate correlation method you know simply when we say bivariate so bivariate simply means uh, that you are exploring the relationship between two variables now which are those two variables as i said these two variables can be either uh, ordinal or scale variable so i hope you understand the concept of ordinal scale ordinal scale is simply when the data can be ranked data can be arranged in ranks you know 1 2 3 4 5 for example if you say the marks you know marks of the students and the marks of the students can be ranked the position you know ranking of the students first position second position third position and so on so these can be ranked so this is a ranked uh, variable so we have different methods for exploring the bivariate correlation the most popular method which is used uh, by many of the researchers is carl pearson's coefficient of correlation and this carl pearson's coefficient of correlation uh, assumes that the variables are measured in scale scale in the sense either on interval scale or ratio scale so this carl pearson coefficient of correlation is a parametric test you know when we say parametric test i hope some session has already been uh, conducted on parametric and non parametric test so just to remind you uh, whether what is parametric test so parametric test is simply the test uh, which is used uh, under the assumption of normality meaning thereby that you consider your observation or your data file your database to be collected from a normally distributed population then only we use the parametric test otherwise if this violation is uh, refuted we use non parametric test all right so this carl pearson coefficient uh, of correlation is used to for two linearly related continuous or quantitative variables as i said that quantitative or continuous uh, variables are the scale variables i will explain this in uh, while performing the correlation analysis using spss then there is a spearman's rank correlation method which is used for uh, two ordinal scale variables and it is a non parametric method as i said this method this spearman's rank correlation method is used only when uh, your data collected on ordinal scale is not assumed to be normally distributed 
and by default this nominal scale variable and ordinal scale variables they are assumed to be non parametric or uh, non normally distributed they will be skewed always so uh, as i said that data must be at least in ordinal scale then only we can use spearman's rank correlation method so this method spearman's rank correlation method uh, usually has uh, larger values than kendall's tau kendall's tau is uh, another method of uh, exploring the bivariate correlation i will discuss in further so it is also much more sensitive to error and discrepancies in data it is more powerful uh, correlation test than kendall's tau the as i said kendall's tau is another method for exploring the bivariate correlation method this is also non parametric method for ranked or ordinal variables usually this uses a smaller values than the spearman's row spearman's row correlation is spearman's rank correlation method and calculations are based on concordant and discordant pairs we not will not i'll explain these terms uh, while discussing the coefficient of correlation in using uh, by uh, by using spss so this kendall's tau is insensitive to error so here one uh, important point to note is that which one method is best now there may be a question in your mind that which method is best to explore the correlation as i said that when your variables are measured on continuous or quantitative variable that means integral or carl pearson method of finding out the correlation is the only method uh, best method only best method under the normality assumption all right but among these two you should always um, in the means researchers uh, always prefer to use spearman's rank correlation method instead of kendall's tau because of the uh, its insensitivity to errors okay however the spearman's rank correlation method is it is more sensitive to errors and discrepancies in data so spearman's rank correlation method is widely preferred over kendall's tau all right so these are three two uh, uh, these are means you can say uh carl pearson coefficient of correlation in case of scale variable and spearman's rank correlation in case of ordinal scale variable these two methods are most popularly used by the researchers to explore the relationship okay and uh, p values yes are more accurate with smaller sample size in case of kendall tau we we, we use p values to interpret the significance of the correlation coefficient okay now let us talk about the different types of correlations number one is linear and non non linear correlation as i said that when the ratio of change between two variables is constant then there will be linear correlation otherwise it is known as non linear correlation so the basic assumption of exploring the relation correlation is that the relationship should be linear relationship should be linear it means that the variables two variables they should fit onto a straight line you know if not on straight line there should be close proximity of these observations uh, with respect to that line you know line of best fit then we say that the relationship is linear otherwise it can be exponential it can be logarithmic or any other number of uh, non other non linear forms of uh, correlation can be found out there is another simple and multiple correlation <clears throat> so far we have we discussed only the simple correlation simple correlation is simply when you are uh, exploring the relationship between only two variables then it is called as simple correlation all right otherwise the correlation between more than two variables at a time at a time you know when you want to explore the correlation between more than two variables at a time it is called as multiple correlation all right so how this can be this can be represented as r r as uh, coefficient of correlation and suppose x y z these are three variables and we want to explore the relationship between these three variables together so we will represent it as like the correlation between x and y and z together okay 
similarly it can be like coefficient of correlation between z and x and y together or it can be presented as the correlation between y and x and z together okay so this is the case of multiple correlation fine this is basically uh, an output generated by multiple regression analysis so this type of correlation you know multiple correlation this multiple correlation coefficient is generated as an output of multiple regression analysis somebody will talk about multiple regression analysis and they will uh, talk more about uh, this multiple correlation coefficient and similar as we as we discussed that r square r square explains the uh, variation explained in the dependent variable by the independent variable so similarly the coefficient the squared coefficient of multiple correlation also tells you about the same thing and it is known as the coefficient of multiple determination C cv coefficient of multiple uh, not cv sorry coefficient of multiple determination so this tells you about the percentage of variation explained in the dependent variable by the independent variable there is another uh, correlation partial correlation which is widely used and this partial correlation simply means that how much uh, variable a particular variable is related to the other variable keeping in mind or keeping the the third variable the effect of third variable as constant so this measures the strength and direction of linear relationship between two continuous variables while controlling for the effect of one or more continuous variable and these controlled uh, this variable which is controlled for its effect is known as covariate or control variable so we are trying to find out the relationship now between two variables by controlling the effect of third variable and this is presented as r x and y controlling for z so coefficient of correlation between x and y controlling the effect of z you understand this so that's why the dot I and mean, the post dot is the variable which is to be controlled for its effect so this is r x y z is the partial correlation partial correlation between x and y controlling for the effect of z and this z is known as covariate for which we want to control the effect on the r x and y okay so this has some certain assumptions also partial correlation when to explore this and uh, uh, when we can be more sure about the partial correlation number one assumption is that one dependent variable one basically the dependent variable and one independent variable and both should be measured on continuous scale so continuous scale means the scale variable as per the scale uh, spss or interval or ratio scale variable so second assumption is uh, one or more control variables which are also known as covariates covariates so there should be one or more control variables to find out the partial correlation because partial co correlation cannot be find out uh, found out uh, without a control variable all right so we want to control the effect of this third variable which is called as covariate so there the presence of this control variable is also important and there should be linear relationship between all three variables no significant outliers meaning thereby if your data has uh, outliers you sh they should be removed first of all and uh, then we can perform this partial correlation outlier simply means that uh, any extreme values which are not fitting into the normal range of the data set okay so if suppose if i take uh, the age so age uh, normally uh, the age varies from 30 years to 70 years all right uh, normal age of the respondent varies from 30 years to 70 years and there is one respondent whose age is more than 90 years so this more than 90 years case would be an outlier this is an extreme case and it will definitely affect your partial correlation and other correlations as well so this assumption is 
a very important to note note that there should not be any significant outlier in the data sets and the variable should be approximately normally distributed so when i say approximately normally distributed it simply means that uh, the variables should uh, come from a normally distributed population that you can check there are number of methods for checking the normality assumption all right uh, last important uh, type of correlation is canonical correlation okay now this canonical correlation so far we were uh, discussing about exploring the relationship between two variables all right so when i say variables it means the uh you know certain attributes which are directly measured using variables okay so if you would try to explore the relationship between variables we use the correlation simply simple correlation multiple correlation or partial correlation but when you try to identify and measure the association among two sets of variables when i say two sets of variables it simply means that one set of variable will comprise of a number of variables and the other set of variables will also comprise of a number of variables maybe four or five variables or in one set and uh, four to five or five to six variables in other set so if you want to explore the relationship between these two sets of variables then we use canonical correlation so if you remember um, um, this is statistical term basically is used to find out the relationship between latent variables so these two sets of variables will become a latent variable uh, in factor analysis there are constructs you know which cannot be directly observed these latent variables are called as factors right which cannot be directly observed so tomorrow i will be discussing more about on uh, factor analysis exploratory factor analysis there i think you will get to know the concept of the construct and how to extract the particular factors using exploratory factor analysis so factor analysis simply is a grouping of variables uh, similar variables okay in one particularly so and these uh, latent variables they represent multiple variables these latent variables they represent multiple variables which are uh, shown in two different sets of variables these variables can be directly observed directly measured but not the latent variables so latent variable has to be approximated or it has to be um, you know factored using a statistical technique which is called as exploratory factor analysis i'll be discussing more about uh, exploratory factor analysis tomorrow so if you want to find, we want to find out uh, the relationship between these two latent variables or constructs it simply uh, we can use uh, canonical correlation and uh, as i said that it is used to analyze the strength of association between two constructs you know these constructs which cannot be directly measured and uh, canonical correlation coefficient measures the strength of association between two canonical variates these constructs are basically canonical variates which have the relationship between uh, relationship with the sets of variables you know different sets of variables so the cv canonical variate is the weighted sum of the variables in analysis i think uh, you will be uh, more comfortable when i will perform this analysis canonical correlation using spss you will get to know more about it okay uh, this is a simple discriminant analysis as a special case for canonical correlation analysis every time and every nominal variable with n different factors can be replaced with n minus dichotomous variable so discriminant analysis it can also be uh, used for finding out the canonical correlation uh, in spss like older versions do not have a menu for canonical correlation analysis but we can run a couple of syntax commands to get it and i have given a link for this uh, syntax commands to explore the canonical correlation between two constructs but the latest versions the recent versions of spss they include a menu with r or python plugin so if you are using spss uh, 25 and above means 25 uh, the latest version is 26th also it includes uh, the canonical correlation menu to find out the correlation 
so i hope the conceptual understanding is clear to you all now i will perform this correlation analysis using spss so meanwhile if you have any question you may please let me know uh, while discussing this correlation concept if anyone has any uh, clarification to make please let me know otherwise we will go with the the spss data analysis for exploring the correlation sir sir aap spss continue kariye fir last pe question le lenge tab tak question aa jayenge okay okay all right theek hai sir mm. so uh, my screen is visible spss window whether my screen is visible I... or not huh? yes, spss window no no i think it is previous one oh okay yeah let me close it so i think it is not there are two windows coming on now isko close kar dijiye sir ye close ka option hi nahi aa raha na sir screen share aap kar rahe hain screen share hata dijiye screen share hata dijiye sir ek bar fir se kariyega usko ah okay okay ओके ओके सर हां नाउ आई थिंक स्क्रीन शेयर इज पॉज्ड और इट इज रिमूव्ड इजंट इट इट इज सो यस रिमूव सो शैल आई शेयर द स्क्रीन वंस अगेन राइट या या ओके यस सो नाउ द एसपीएसएस स्क्रीन इज विजिबल नाउ नाउ विजिबल okay 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 uh, so all right so now i will uh, perform these whatever analysis conceptual understanding we had about uh, the correlation analysis now i will show that how this can be done using spss all right so i will take one data file from spss database itself uh, to open the data file i will take one file in built database file and that database file is generally stored in uh, c drive so i have already taken uh, the path menu for the species files okay i am selecting this car sales as a data file okay i am opening this and select this data file open all right so as you can see this is the data file which uh, talks about the sales of the different models of car and their resale value measured in scale variable this is sales value the price the engine size the horsepower of the car wheel base width length curb weight fuel capacity and mileage okay so these are the different variables which are measured using uh, different scales all right so uh, i will try to explore the relationship between two variables especially so when i say two variables uh, we have to select two variables which are measured on scale variable or scale you know interval or ratio scale so as you can see sales is one variable another is uh, you can say the price okay sales and price so let us try to find out the relationship between the sales and price of the car so what is your general perception you know 
how should be the relationship normally if the price goes up the definitely the sales would be less if the price is less the sales would be high that is how the relationship between these two variables is expected so when the relationship is expected in such a manner so it makes sense that sales and prices are the, the sales and price may be related so let us explore the relationship this will be a y variate uh, correlation analysis so in order to do the y variate analysis go to analyze and you just click on correlate and click on bivariate so this bivariate command will uh, open a box wherein you need to transfer the variables sir, sir i think uh, your screen is not uh, uh, coming working properly it's a, it's a blank sheet not... it's a blank sheet okay uh... That is not visible. Is it coming now? Screen. No, no, sir. It's not coming still. I think it got stuck. Continue. Ah. Uh? I think it got stuck to the screen. <laughs> that blank sheet. Why come? How come? I, I because I, I this screen is sharing is going on actually. Yes, uh, I have. I am clicking on continue sharing also. Okay, uh, this one. Cars. Now is it coming? No, oh, sir. Uh, now it. Yeah, it's coming. Uh, it's coming. Okay, it's coming now. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. shall I repeat? Uh, so shall I repeat the steps once again? Okay. Yes, sir. So this is this uh, SPSS data file uh, contained, you know, various variables, different variables uh, measured on uh, various scales. This is, you know, a string variable. Model is also a string variable. This is ordinal variable, you know, type of the model. So sales is measured on inter, uh, you know, ratio scale, and uh, resale value is also measured on scale uh, ratio scale. Price is also measured on ratio scale. So I want to explore the, whether the relationship between sales and price. Uh, how is the relationship between the sales and price? You know. So as per the normal expectations, I said that uh, when the price goes up, definitely the sales would be less. If the price goes down, the sales would be more. So I expect that there will be a negative correlation between sales and price, and that makes sense. So uh, to explore this, uh, I will go to analyze and uh, correlate. And click on bivariate, and now transfer the variables within which between which you want to explore the relationship. So the these are, this is a list of all the variables in your SPSS data file. All right. So I will transfer one sales variable. Say this is a sales variable to this variable box, and the other one is price to this variable box. So now you can see the two variables which are included uh, for exploring the relationship are sales and price. Okay. And so, by default, there are, as you can see, there are three methods of calculating the correlation: Carl Pearson, Kendall Stow, and Spearman. You remember that we have already discussed these three methods of exploring bivariate relationship. So, Carl Pearson method is used for numerical scale variable, and our these two variables are numerical scale. So, we I I will uh, make sure that this Pearson box is checked. Okay. So, when this Pearson box is checked. It's okay. Otherwise, candles and tau, candles tau and spearmans should be checked when your variables in the variable box are ordinal. Or also, you can explore the relationship between one scale variable and one ordinal variable. Then you should select this spearmans row, spearmans correlation. Okay. Test of significance. We generally go for the two-tailed test, and uh, the make sure that this shows you the flag significant correlations. It will give you significant correlations. So nothing to do in this much. Only you need to transfer the variables in the variable box simply, and then click OK. Now this shows you the output, the correlation output table. As you can see here in this table, sales is one variable, and uh, on the column also there are two variables. Okay, rows and columns. So sales, how sales is related with the price? 
it is negatively related with the price as you can see and what is the how much is the degree of relationship negative 0 0.305 and it is statistically significant you know there are two stars shown at the value i hope you can see these stars uh, at the screen so as expected we uh, we assumed that sales and price would be negatively correlated the your you know correlation analysis also shows us that sales and prices are negatively correlated but what is the degree of correlation the degree of correlation is you know you can say because it is uh, more than 0.3 more than 0.3 so you can say it is slightly more than uh, the poor correlation coefficient you know uh, and it is negatively correlation but it is significant how it is significant how we came to know significant the correlation is significant because at 0 0.01 level of significance so 0 0.01 level of significance simply means 1% level of significance it means the you know this is the concept which uh, you need to understand that uh, when the correlation or when any value will be significant you know test of significance so at 1% level of significance we can say that sales and price are negatively correlated negatively statistically significantly correlated that's how we report while writing so sales and prices are statistically negatively correlated and they are significant at one percent level of significance it means that we are 99 percent sure that this correlation would be uh, per, uh would be negatively statistically correlated so this is one uh bivariate analysis using carl pearson coefficient of correlation all right uh there is a multiple correlation also let me show you multiple okay before multiple let me go uh, the partial correlation you know how to uh, use the partial correlation so in order to uh, check the partial correlation you remember that partial correlation is nothing but uh, it's simply the relationship between two uh, continuous variables or numerical variables controlling the effect of the third variable so you click on the partial correlation here and here you will see the two boxes you know so in one box in the first box you transfer the two variables uh, in which you want to measure this correlation so i will transfer sales as one variable and also the price another variable you know i want to test this relationship between these two variables but controlling for the engine size okay controlling for engine size so i will transfer this engine size to the this controlled variable you know this is covariate and again you uh, just make sure that it is two tailed and display uh, actual significance level so click okay and this gives you partial correlation the next table as you can see earlier you know direct relationship between sales and price was minus 0 0.305 all right now please mute yourself jinka bhi microphone on hai please mute kar lijiye ha sir continue yeah now partial correlation you just see that sales and price are negatively correlated and the degree of association or degree of relationship has increased you know my uh, it has declined minus 0.408 it has declined minus 0.408 by controlling the effect of price engine size you know by controlling the effect of engine size so is it the screen is paused isn't it okay now is it coming the screen is coming oh, it was paused so by controlling the effect of engine size so this is partial correlation so as you can see the partial correlation between sales and price is negative 0 0.408 by controlling the effect of engine size of the car so that is what partial correlation is you can see uh, that's how we discussed uh, one bivariate correlation which is simply without controlling an effect of any other third variable now this is the partial correlation with controlling the effect of third variable all right 
now let me show you the third type of correlation which is multivariate correlation multiple correlation so multiple correlation is as i said that it's an output generated using regression analysis so you need to perform a regression analysis for uh, generating the multiple correlation coefficient so i will go with this regression and linear regression now i want to the, in linear regression there are dependent and independent variable so let me take this sales as dependent variable and i expect that sales is dependent on the price engine size and horsepower say for example so these three variables i will transfer to the independent box okay and uh, if you want to statistics this i will i think somebody will explain about all these so you can check the part and partial correlation r squared and model fit simply i will go with a simple uh, analysis okay so uh, now you can uh, just click on okay this is also fine click okay so this gives you the regression results okay so first table tells you about that how uh, which variables are entered and which were removed you know we are using all the variables now you can see this is the coefficient of multiple correlation in regression analysis 0.429 it means sales is related with horsepower engine size and price all together with a degree of 0.429 matlab meaning thereby that uh, for uh, the relationship between uh, this is slightly higher than uh, the you know correlation you can say moderate degree of correlation is found between sales and horsepower engine size and price all together so this is the coefficient of multiple correlation i hope this makes sense and as i said that squared value of r tells you about the percentage of variation explained in the dependent variable by all the independent variables so you can see that 18.4% 0.84% means uh, 18 0.4 percent variance is variance of sales is explained by horsepower engine size and price okay so this is what i i will stick to the correlation part only so as you can see this is the coefficient of multiple correlation so how to arrive at coefficient of multiple correlation you have to perform regression analysis all right multiple regression analysis basically okay i hope this is clear and now last one is the canonical correlation so as i said that uh, the previous versions you know uh, they are not uh, use they do not have the canonical correlation uh, canonical correlation menu but this is i am using spss 25 and uh, this has the menu for correlation uh, canonical correlation so where it is in the correlate option only as you can see correlate bivariate partial and the last one is canonical correlation when there is a plus sign it means it uses r or python plugin you know so automatically r or python plugin is uh, inbuilt in spss 25 or 26th version so you can go with this canonical correlation okay so click on canonical correlation as i said that canonical correlation is uh, the correlation between two sets of variables so you need to transfer the variables uh, in one set and variables in another set so let me take uh, this sales resale value price uh, as one variable you know and also maybe mileage you can say uh, mileage is also one of the variable so one set of variable sales resale value price and mpg as one set of variable and the remaining engine size horsepower wheel base weight length and so on number of variables i can take in different uh, uh, set of box set of variable box now i would like to test the significant correlation between these two sets of variables together all together so abhi uh, now what will happen uh, these two sets of variables will be converted into constructs and we will try to find out the relationship between those two constructs so nothing to do you simply click on okay and there will be lot of uh, you know analysis to will be run by the spss it will take some time to generate the output canonical correlation um, it is computing the 
canonical correlation the species is performing its analysis and it will give lot of tables you know number of tables for the results of canonical correlation still it is working so it takes time number of commands are executed yes so now the output is generated for canonical correlation now these are you know as you can see these are the number of tables for canonical correlation so canonical correlation this is first set of first table tells you about that what are the variables in first set of first set and what are the variables in second set so whatever variables we prescribed we give command for so they are listed in the first set variables now you see they are exploring the correlation for four uh, constructs now you see in this case the canonical correlation is uh, examined for four factors isne kya kiya isne four factors bana diye so the first set of variables and second set of variables together they made uh, four factors but we will examine the correlation uh, between the two significant factors you know two significant constructs so and how to find out the uh, which are the significant constructs so this is uh, actually examined using eigen value so the the constructs which have the eigen values more than one we take as significant factors significant constructs okay so between these two constructs you know first and second these two are significant constructs because the eigen value is more than one so first and second construct the correlation is uh, 0.892 first uh, first set of variable and uh, the second set of constructs the correlation is between uh, 0.766 and there are other number of uh, correlations also uh standardized correlation unstandardized correlations and so on you need not to look at these simply factor loadings and uh, canonical loadings these are, these are also similar to the factor analysis so once you understand the concept of factor analysis i think you will be more able to um, understand the canon concept of canonical correlation analysis so uh, you know in this is first and second these are the unstandardized co uh, canonical correlation coefficients and canonical loadings canonical loadings are nothing but these are uh, simply the correlations of first factor and second factors with different variables in first set and different variables in second set okay these are the cross loadings and the proportion of variance explained by first set first uh, first set of construct is 54.9% and second set 22% similarly in the second set of variables it is 43.9% and uh, by second factor or second construct it is 0.346 or 34.6% so i can understand that uh, the interpretation of canonical correlations uh, may be little bit difficult as of now because uh, if you know the concept of exploratory factor analysis that what are these eigen values and factor loadings and these loadings and all Uh, it will be easier for you to uh, interpret the results of canonical correlation uh, um, maybe I, i'll be talking about efa tomorrow after that they think uh, this these concepts will be more clear we use double correlation based uh, by searches in specific cases where they want to really examine the relationship between two constructs i hope uh, this makes sense and it is clear to you all uh, sir over to you raghavan sir okay sir Shall i Thank stop you, this screen sharing or can yeah, you yeah, have the questions uh, yes uh, sir we uh, will have Uh, questions can we have questions from anyone uh, you can stop sharing okay sir okay uh, mm -hmm. for the question answer session uh, now i would like to request dr kranti singh and arvin yadav sir for the question answer yes sir yes sir dr kranti ma'am yes hello yes. murari sir meri awaaz aa rahi hai yes, sir yes madam yes uh, yes barabar aa rahi hai ha batai ओके फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सर सैलेन जी का है 
कैन क्वालिटेटिव डेटा एनालाइज इन एस पी एस एस या दैट्स वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन क्वालिटेटिव डेटा डेफिनेटली इट कैन बी एनालाइज इन एस पी एस एस uh you know when we talk about qualitative data it we simply refer to uh the data which is measured on ordinal scale or nominal scale so we can also explore the relationship or association between uh ordinal scale variable and nominal scale variable so to explore the relationship between nominal scale variables we generally use chi square test so this chi square test can be used to explore the association between two qualitative variables in spss so i did not talk about uh, maybe i thought like uh, this must have been covered by somebody or if not then it will be covered by uh, some person resource person so uh, definitely yes uh, the answer to your question is yes we can perform qualitative uh, data analysis in spss qualitative analysis now it also depends like which type of qualitative analysis you want to perform you know if you want to explore the relationship between two qualitative variables we can definitely go for uh, spss and uh, we can do it in spss okay sir thank you next question has sir hiren ka hai what multiple correlation used in research how multiple, multiple correlation yes 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 uh, definitely as i as i said that multiple correlation is used when you want to explore the relationship of one set of variable and another set of variables one variable you know one continuous variable and another independent variables uh, maybe there may be one two or three number of variables can be there so when the variables are more uh and one very vari dependent variable is single then we use generally this uh, coefficient of multiple correlation all right so generally it is used uh, it is generated as an output of regression analysis so when you perform a regression analysis you always interpret the coefficient of multiple correlation not the coefficient of bivariate correlation okay it is not neither it is a partial correlation nor it is a bivariate correlation it will be a bivariate correlation only when there are two variables one one independent variable and one independent variable then only it will be uh, 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 bivariate correlation otherwise when there are more than one independent variable and only one dependent variable it will be a coefficient of multiple correlation okay sir uh, next question from hira jaiswal please explain regression analysis and symmetric relation again <laughs> so shall i uh, explain it you yeah, know regression yeah. analysis actually uh, sir actually time uh, exceed kar jayega agar sir, regression analysis haan, next topic mein hai topic mein hai ha ha yes yes as somebody as somebody is going to take that regression analysis uh, another resource person i think uh, is going to talk about regression analysis so we will provide uh, talk a recording of this uh, in the group uh, after 3 uh, o'clock or that yes, they yes. Uh, <laughs> inko fir se sunne ko mil jayega recording provide kara denge okay sir symmetric regression yes please and next sir, question next time na sir hamare paas koi question nahi hai arvin sir hai youtube par koi question ho नहीं मैम yes, यूट्यूब और फेसबुक पे कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं है ओके ओके आई होप लाइक बिकॉज दिस ऑनलाइन टेक्नोलॉजी हैज इट्स ओन लिमिटेशन वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड लाइक बट स्टिल आई थिंक टू वट एवर एक्सटेंट आई मेड इट पॉसिबल मे बी इट विल बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर द पार्टिसिपेंट्स एंड दे विल यूज इट for their research analysis okay, okay thank you sir thank you sir for wonderful session now i would like to request dr vinita lal ma'am for formal uh, vote of thanks dr vinita lal ma'am thank you sir on behalf of our, our college and team thank you sir for your insightful presentation your depth of understanding of user on interface and your ability to present the subject in such an interesting way 
your lecture on correlation and spss is very interesting and definitely helpful to those doing research so thanks again once thanks again sir uh, for a truly memorable session thank you sir thank, thank you, you very much and uh, i will be i will be um, uh, taking tomorrow also uh, there is one session on uh, exploratory factor analysis i think that will be more uh, useful for the researchers because mostly research researchers they use uh, exploratory factor analysis so i will also the same i will cover um, in the two sections uh, tomorrow we will talk about that uh, thank, you. thank you sir thank okay, you sir, sir. Thank for you. giving time thank you sir please man continue for next session shall i leave the meeting now yeah yeah sir okay, sure sir. Okay okay fine thank you Next uh, session ke liye hamare resource person humse jud chuke hain Now in the second session of the day we have an eminent speaker Dr Subhash Kumar Yadav Sir uh, Subhash Dr. Subhash, yeah, sir, yeah, yeah. 